Well, hello everyone. This is Pastor Larry, New Life in Christ Jesus Church, and we are live. Amen. I want to pray with you right now, you know, because we believe that we serve a God that is with us, that love us, and that he wants to see us healed, delivered, and set free. Amen. So I'm going to pray today, and then we're going to, I, we, we, we're going to, we're going to be ministering along the lines of healing. I've had several people that I talked to today, some dealing with diseases and some dealing with illnesses and stuff, and the Lord just placed upon my heart today to minister along the lines of healing. So if you know someone that needs to be healed, that someone that's looked for God's healing touch in their life, right now I encourage you to get them to focus on this message today. Amen. And, uh, and allow the Spirit of God to speak life over your situation. Amen. And let God be true in everything that's alive. Amen. Let God's word be true. Let every man be alive. Because see, God has already paid the price for you by sending his own son into the earth to give his life as a ransom for your sin. Amen. So I want you all to, to just prepare your hearts to receive from heaven today. Let's pray. Father, we come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We praise you and we glorify you, Lord God, because there is none like you, Father, in all the earth. And so we look to you, Father, with boldness and with great confidence because you are well able to confirm your word. Not only are you well able to confirm your word, God, you will confirm your word with signs, wonders, and miracles. And we give you all the praise and all the glory right now in advance because you are Lord and you are God. There's no one else beside you. And so we thank you for the day. We thank you and we bless your name. Now, Father, I pray for every man and woman that is dealing with some type of illness in their body that will be listened to this broadcast. I come against every demonic spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease. I bind it in the spiritual realm right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, you said whatever I bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. I'm holding you to your word. And I declare that as I bind it in earth, it is bound in heaven in the name of Jesus. That the people will have an ear to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Every symptom and everything that they're experiencing right now, Father, let it come to a halt in their life. So they be able, so that they may be able to focus and not on the symptoms, but on what your word declares concerning them. And I give you praise and I give you glory for it in advance. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. See, God love you regardless of where you are. You might think that you're not worthy for God to touch you and to heal you because you live such a raunchous life. Let me tell you something. God said that we confess our sins, that he's faithful and he's just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. And so whatever it is that you're dealing with, I want you to know today that God is not a man that he shall lie, nor the son of man that he shall repent. Had he not said it, and shall he not make it good? Folks, we're in a season that God is concerned for his people. How about you? Are you ready to release your faith today? You that are with us by the internet, are you ready to release your faith today? Amen. For your breakthrough, you may have a loved one. You may have a son or daughter. You may have a son-in-law or daughter-in-law. Amen. You may even have a good friend that you that you want to stand in the gap for today and release your faith on their behalf. Today is your miracle breakthrough day. If you can receive that. Today is your miracle breakthrough day. Amen. So right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing you a song. 
And we're going to have breakthrough today. Amen. We're going to have breakthrough today. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Dream I went to heaven And you were there with me We walked across the streets of gold Beside the crystal sea Heard the angels singing And someone called your name I turned and saw this young man And he was smiling as he came he said, friend, you may not know me now. Then he said, but wait. You used to teach my Sunday school when I was only eight. Every week you would say a prayer before the class would start. One day when you said that prayer, I asked Jesus, in my heart Thank you for giving to the Lord Cause I am the life that would change Thank you for giving to the Lord I am so glad you gave. Then another man stood before you and said, Remember the time a missionary came to your church? His pictures made you cry. You didn't have much money, but you gave it in a way. Jesus took that gift you gave And that's why We're here today Thank you For giving to the Lord Cause I am the life That will change Thank you For giving Lord, I am so glad you came. One by one they came, as far as the eye could see. Each life was somehow touched by your generosity. The little things that you had done. The sacrifice was made Unnoticed on the earth In heaven is now proclaimed I know up in heaven You're not supposed to cry But I'm almost sure There were tears in your eyes as Jesus took your hand, you stood before the Lord. He said, my child, look around you, for great is your reward. Thank you for giving to the Lord, because I am the life. There will change. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you gave. Thank you for giving. 
give him to the Lord. Cause I am a life that will change. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you gave. I am so glad you gave Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am so glad you gave. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. 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 You know, I don't know about you, but when my body is racking in pain, I want, I want to hear some messages along the line of God's divine healing power. Amen. That's my heart's desire. I want to experience God's best. I don't want to wait until it's too late. Amen. I want to wait until there's no hope for me because, you see, the enemy can fill your head with all this garbage and you think that God don't want to heal you, that you think that God can't heal you. But I want to, I beg the difference with you. God wants to heal you and God can heal you. And I got another word for you. God has already healed you. Amen. You are already healed. You, you were healed over 2,000 years ago. On the cross of Mount Calvary, Jesus Christ bore our sicknesses. He bore our sins. He bore our iniquity. It was all nailed to the cross. All the things that we will experience right now, Jesus Christ has already paid the price. You might think, well, I'm so unworthy. You are worthy. What made you worthy when you believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and you invited Him in your heart? That made you worthy of God's provision for your life and for your health. Amen. Everything that you need has already been provided. And God wants you to come to the point of knowing what He has already provided for you because what He has already provided is already done. Amen. It's already done. Glory to God. And so I want to just thank God. I thank God for this day. I thank God for each and every person that is believing God for health and healing in their body. Because you see, I'm here to tell you that it is God's will for you to be healed. It is God's will for you to be set free. It is God's will for you to walk in divine health. <clears throat> it is God's will for you to know God's perfect plan for your life. Amen. Concerning divine health and healing. One of the purposes that God wants to reveal his healing power is that we, the people of God, may know the character of God. Amen. Amen. The character of God is so important for us to understand. Amen. Amen. Because, you see, if we don't understand God's character... We can't understand God's purpose. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And folks, the penalty has already been the, 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 the penalty has already been paid. The penalty has already been paid. And so what God is looking at now, God is wanting to demonstrate his character. Oh, Glory to God. God wants to demonstrate his character in the earth once again. Amen. Now this is what he been this is his heart desire. This is what he's been wanting to do for, 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 for centuries. And he's doing it. Amen. Now it's your turn to get in on what God wants to do. How many of you believe God for healing today? Amen. How many of you need a touch from heaven today? Amen. 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 God is ready to heal you right now. Today. Amen. Amen. All you got to do is release your faith for what God has already done. God wants to heal you right now, today. Amen. Amen. 
Glory to God. I remember when I was so sick, I had so much pain in my body, and I'm laying up in my bed crying like a baby, didn't have no money, didn't have no insurance, amen, and, and, and didn't have no one that I could call for help. But while I was laying in my bed crying and, 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 and hurting, I heard the Spirit of God speak to my heart and say, Get up and read your Bible. Hallelujah. You know why I believe that God wanted to point me to the Bible? Amen. Because the Word of God is full of life. Amen. <laughs> the Word of God is full of life and health Amen. and healing to all our flesh. Amen. Amen. That's why he tells us in the book of Proverbs, My son, attend to my words. Amen. I climb thy ear to my saying. For they are life, notice what he said, for they are life to those that find them. You see, there are those that are going to seek the life that is in God's word. Then there are those that are not going to seek the life in God's word. And in other words, there are those that are going to, that's going to believe the word of God and be healed. And then there are those that are not going to believe the word of God and not going to be healed. No. Now, now I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't tell you who's going to get healed and who's not going to get healed. But I can tell you this, the one that released their faith have a 99.9% .9 chance of receiving their miracle touch from Almighty God. Yes. Now the one that's saying, well, I don't believe in that healing stuff. I, I've been sick all my life and I'm going to go to, I'm going to leave this earth sick. Well, then that's your prerogative. <laughs> that's your privilege. If you think that God wants you to go out that way, then Bye-bye. <laughs> Amen. Because you see, God is not going to force you to receive his word. He has made it plain. He has made it clear. And he has given, he has given us a way to, to know what he wants us to receive in his earth. You see, God wants you to, 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 to prepare your hearts today. Because you see, you might say, well, well how come you say that some going to be healed and there will be some that won't be healed? Well, the secret thing belongs to the Lord. But the things that are revealed are belong to us. Amen. Amen. Let me just show you. In Deuteronomy of, uh, chapter 29. Deuteronomy 29, 29. I want to just show you that in the scripture here. Because you see, you might think that, that, uh, that it's not in the Bible. Amen. About the secret things. <laughs> but I want to assure you Amen. that the secret things belongs to the Lord. Amen. That's uh, chapter 29. And I want you to look at verse number 29. And I'm going to get my reading glasses. Amen. Glory to his name. And it says right here, verse number 29, he said, The secret thing belong unto the Lord, our God. But those things, notice what he said now, because this is important. You see, we don't understand. We know in part. We understand in part. Amen. Amen. But God wants us to come to the place of understanding, because you see, if we're going to receive our healing, then we must understand that it is God's will for us to be healed. Because as long as we still have a question in our heart concerning that, we're still going to walk around, folks. We're still going to walk around wondering, will God, can God heal me? And I want you to know right now, right around right the point, that yes, it is God's will for you to be healed. It is God's will for you to be healed. I didn't have no money, didn't have no... no no insurance and have no, no one I could call on. But when God told me to get and read my Bible, I did exactly what God said. In other words, I followed the instructions. Yes, Amen. I followed the instructions. Amen. And as I followed the instructions, I became healed, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. Amen. 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 So it says right here in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse number 29, it says, The secret thing belonging unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us. Now, this is why it's so important that we teach along this line, 
Because God wants, God is revealing what belongs to you through the preaching of the word and through the teaching of the word. And so when we understand that it is God's will for you to be healed, that means you come to the you come to understand that it is God's will for you to be healed. Because until you come to the understanding that it's God's will for you to be healed, you're going to continue to walk around with that old that old that old uh, uh, same old thing. Woe is me. Amen. Woe is me. So he said, the secret thing belongs to the Lord. I mean, the secret thing belongs to the Lord, but those things which are revealed belongs to us. Belongs to us. Amen. So what God is revealing right now belongs to you. God's healing power belongs to you. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And so it says right, it says right here. The secret thing belongs unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong unto us. And our what? Children. Belongs to us and our children. Amen. Forever. Now he didn't say just for the weekend. He said they belong to us for how long? Ever. Forever. Amen. Forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so we always have an access to the Father, purpose and plan for His Word in our in our life. And God's perfect plan for His Word in our life is for us to walk free from the powers of darkness and from the kingdom of, of hell. Amen. Amen. And walk in the light of His Word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So when we when we can see that and know what God is saying, we shouldn't have a problem understanding what He what He's telling us. Because to be ignorant concerning this God's will concerning healing is a is 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 not a good thing. Especially if you're sick. <laughs> Amen. If I'm if when I was sick, I was I, I want someone to come teach me the word of God concerning healing. Amen. I want that. I want that word to be preached to me. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. See, this is one of the this is one of Satan's most powerful uh, deceptions that he used to keep the people of God from their destiny or from their healing or from their purpose. And what is that? Ignorance. Mm -hmm. Ignorance concerning the word of God, especially along this line of divine health and healing. How many people you know that are sick and they still uh, don't want to hear nothing about God's word concerning this area? Oh, yeah, they, don't they, don't, they don't believe that God can heal them. No. And why they don't believe that? Right. Because the devil has deceived them. Right. Yeah. Amen. He's blocked their understanding. And then they don't pursue the, the understanding in that area. So they walk around continually Amen. wounded, bruised, hurt, and don't know that the price for their sins, sickness, disease has already been paid. Been already been paid for. Amen. Already been paid for. And so I want you to, I want you to, I want you to understand that today. And I want you to understand that today. Now he says, it says in the book of Proverbs. Let's turn to the book of Proverbs, chapter six. Proverbs, chapter six. In the book of Proverbs chapter 6, and I want to look at a very good scripture here. <laughs> a very good scripture here. Proverbs chapter 6, and a very good scripture. <laughs> Glory to God. And... And look at verse, let's look at uh, verse number two. Is, Lord, is that what I want? <laughs> okay, then yeah, yeah, then that must be it then. Right. Uh -huh. Verse verse number two said, A man a man to whom God had given Riches, wealth, and honor, so that he, so that he, he uh, wanted nothing. He shall his soul, his soul, want nothing for his soul, or all that he desired. Yet God give it strength. Yet God give it strangers to eat it. 
This is vanity and it is an evil disease. That's not what I wanted. No, but it says on, on uh, 6 2 tells about the mouth. For thou hast stricken the. Oh my God, I'm in, I'm in Ecclesiastics. <laughs> Oh my God! No one is reading so. F oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Amen. Now, now, see, this is this is this is this is so important. This is so important. <laughs> I can't believe I, I went to Ecclesiastes. <laughs> y'all got to y'all got to oh, excuse me for that. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. But he, that's right. That was, that's okay. But right here we're talking about something else. Look at verse number two again. Look at verse number two again. Oh my God. He said, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. What I, now why do I want to read this scripture? Because see, most people, when you want to talk to them about divine health and healing, instead of them coming in agreement with what, with what the word of God is saying in this area, they begin to talk against that, what God is saying. Amen. And their words, instead of their words working for them to help them to come out of that situation, Amen. because they're taking sides against God, those words are working against them. Notice what he said, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Amen. Amen. In other words, your words have brought you into captivity Amen. to your enemy. Amen. Amen. Instead of you talking about how, instead of you talking about the goodness of the Lord and God's love for you and God's mercy and His grace and His healing power, you're talking, you, you're lining up your thoughts with what the enemy is doing, what the enemy has said. And folks, this is really the work of, the, uh, uh, of darkness. Amen. So we have to understand, we have to understand that, uh, see, we, 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 we can deter our own destiny with our words. We can deter our own destiny with our words. Notice what he said again. Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do not do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou art come into the land of thy friend, go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. Amen. Make sure thy friend. God wants us to humble ourselves instead of walking around thinking we all this, that, and the other. You see. When we think we're more than what we are, we get ourselves in trouble. Amen. We get ourselves in trouble. Turn now to the book of Hosea. The book of Hosea, chapter 4. The book of Hosea, chapter 4. Amen. In the book of Hosea, chapter 4, y'all know the book of Hosea that? It's right after Daniel. Yeah. It's right after the book of Daniel. Okay? Chapter 4. And I want you to look at verse number 6 again. Four, four, six. I, Hosea chapter 4, verse number 6. Because you see, I'm trying to establish something here. Because you see, I want to get you to refocus your words. Amen. Concerning your health. Amen. Because as long as your words is lining up with the enemy... Are, are, are taking side with doubt and fear and unbelief, you're going to live a defeated life. And the devil's going to take you out because he's doing his job to keep you in the dark. Amen. So it says in, in chapter 6 and verse number, uh, chapter 4, verse number 6, it says, My people are destroyed because they don't know no better. It said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Amen. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou art, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Because thou rejected knowledge concerning God's healing, concerning God's uh, blessing that He have already prepared for you to receive, divine health and healing, because you rejected, because of a lack of knowledge, you have just given over. To destruction of your of your life. Because the devil, he's doing his job. What is his job? John 10 10. 
The thief come not but what? Steal, to steal, kill, kill, and to destroy. And he's doing a good job at it. Amen. So we have to stop that from, from working against us. Amen. How are we going to stop it? By changing the words that we allow to come out of our mouth concerning our health. Amen. Amen. When, you, when your neighbor talk to you about how you're feeling, don't go telling your neighbor about every ache and pain you have. Because you're taking, you, 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 you're not talking, you're not, you're not talking faith. You're, you're talking in line with the natural. And, and God is looking for someone that will take side with the, with the supernatural. Faith is a supernatural act that God's going to perform in and through your life. When your vocabulary will come to come in, in, the, right, in the right place. Amen. God wants to touch you and God wants to touch you today. There for my people are gone into captivity. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Therefore my people are gone into captivity. Because they have no knowledge. And their honorable men are famished. And their multitude dry, are died. Are dried up, up with thirst. Are dried up with thirst. Amen. Glory to God. So we, 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 have to, we have to prepare our hearts. We have, to, uh, we have to position ourselves for what God is going to do, for what God is going to do in our life. Amen? We have to position ourselves. So now that I have, see, because see, everything that we're dealing with right now are roadblocks to your healing. Amen. These are roadblocks to your healing, what we're dealing with. Amen? The wrong saying the wrong words. He said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hosea 4 6. Amen. And Proverbs chapter chapter uh, chapter 6 and verse 2. He said, uh, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Amen. Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. So our words play a great part in us receiving from God. Amen. Because see, God is not going to turn his word around just to suit you. He's, he's already established his word. His word has already been established in heaven. Now it's time for us to read his word and establish it here in this earth. Amen. And so folks, I want you to be encouraged today. Because today can be your supernatural breakthrough healing day. Are you ready? Are you, can you believe that with me today? Amen. Can you release your faith with me in that area today? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Now, now look at Hebrew chapter 13, because you see, I'm, this is a, a series that I'm starting, and it's all about you receiving your healing. Amen? It's all about you receiving your healing. But right now, I'm dealing with all the roadblocks. I'm dealing with all the roadblocks that can stop you from receiving your healing. Amen? So, in, in the book of uh, 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 Hebrew chapter 3, Hebrew chapter 3. Can y'all go there with me also? Amen. Amen. Because I want you to see it in the Word. I want you to see it in the Word because you need to be able to write these scriptures down and go back and meditate upon them and ask God to deliver you from that doubt and unbelief and that fear. Because those are the areas that is holding you in bondage. Amen. Amen. Those are the areas that is holding you in bondage that the, that the devil is using against you. In the book of Hosea chapter... I mean, uh, Hebrew chapter 3 and verse number 12. Hebrew 3, 12. Are you there? It says, Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart. Now what God is referring to when it said about an evil heart. Remember the 12 spies that were sent into Canaan land? They all had the same opportunity to go in and to come back with the report that what God has said was true. But they didn't all come back with the report saying, uh, they didn't, in other words, they didn't come back agreeing with what God said. Amen. Ten of them came back disagreeing with what God said. And that caused a multitude of people to die out in the wilderness. Amen. Because they disbelieved the word of God. They did not believe the word of God. And that caused them to perish. Amen. And so God is bringing us around to understand, because you see, these, this is one of the roadblocks that's going to stop you from receiving your healing. If you don't watch out, 
you you got you be, you better you better you better deal with that area. You got to deal with it. Amen. Notice what he said in verse twelve again. He said, "Take heed, take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you, and lest there be in you, lest there be in any of you a what an evil heart." Now, knows what that evil heart consists of? Unbelief. Unbelief. The 12 spies that went into Canaan land to spy out the land, 10 of them came back with unbelief. And God called it an evil heart, an evil report. Amen? And so we have to understand that what God said is true. If God said that you've been healed, then you are healed. If God said that you've been delivered, then you are delivered. Amen? Amen? If God said that you are free, then you are free. And he that the Son set free is free indeed. So in verse number 12 again, let's read the whole verse now. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in, in any of you an evil heart of unbelief, in departing from the living God. Unbelief calls you to, to depart from the living God. Amen. It doesn't cause you to draw nigh to God. It calls you to depart from God. Amen. So when so when when we're when we're ministering to you the word of God along the line of God's divine health and healing, then all of a sudden you say, Well, I just don't believe that God won't mean be healed. You just you just allow evil to come out of your heart concerning God's will for your life. You, you, you just side it up with the enemy that come to steal, kill, and to destroy you. Amen? Your words have brought you into captivity, have held you in the bondage, what God had come to set you free from. Glory to God. Amen? And so when we see that God wants us healed, we need to understand that our confession plays a great part in it. It says in, in uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, he said, if we confess our sins, what is one of the main sins that God wants us to confess right now to help us to get into the uh, area of receiving his promise in our life? He wants us to confess what? The unbelief in heart. He wants to profess that unbelief that is in our heart. I'm going to say it again. He wants us to confess that unbelief that is in our heart. Because that's one of the things that is holding us back from our healing. God wants you healed. God wants you healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. God wants your organs healed. God wants to drive that cancer right out of your body. God wants to bring you to a place that every joint, every disc, every vertebrae, every nerve... Every cell in your body will come under the scrutinized presence of Almighty God. And that God's healing power begin to bring you to a place of inner healing. Amen. Inner healing. Glory to God. Woo, glory to God. Oh, I feel something on this thing today. Amen. You know why? Because I'm telling you, thus said the Lord. God does not get pleasure out of seeing you sick. He does not get pleasure out of seeing you walking around in pain. Amen. That's not God's will for you. It has never been God's plan for you. Amen. And it's still not God's plan for you. <clears throat> the plan and purpose that God has for you today is that you would walk in divine health. That you would walk in divine health. Amen. Now, and another thing that will stop you from receiving healing. This is another roadblock, folks. Another thing that will stop you from receiving your healing is holding on to unforgiveness in your heart concerning your brother, your sister, your neighbor, your co-worker, your loved one, or what have you. Unforgiveness is a roadblock to your healing. Because you see, if you don't forgive, then how can you be forgiven? Amen? You got to forgive 
your brother, your sister, or whosoever that you have ought against. And if possible, you need to call that person or you need to visit that person and you need to let them know. Say, hey, I know we had our differences, we had our, we had our misunderstanding, but I want you to know that uh, even though you owe me this money and you don't, I, 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 is it just, you know what, I'm not going to hold it against you. I release that money. It's yours. Amen. It's yours. I know you can't pay me back. And, I, cause, and as long as I keep dwelling on it, I get angry about it. So instead of me getting angry about it, I'm just going to release it. I'm giving it to you. It's yours. Don't have, you don't have to pay it back. So what, what happened? Instead of me harboring unforgiveness in my heart, I'm releasing that person. But not only am I releasing that person, I'm blessing that person that that person would not have to repay that debt. Amen. Amen. And, what, and what, what happened now? That person is now free and you are free because you was holding it over the head. God wants you healed. He wants you delivered and he wants you free. Look at Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11, I want you to look here at verse number 25. Mark chapter 11, verse number 25. Because I know that there are some people right now, you know, I was, uh, I was at work today, and all of a sudden, I had an urgent uh, desire to go to this Target store where I do a lot of work at sometime, over on Madison Avenue. And I wanted to go see that, that uh, maintenance man that worked there, because I go there and perform maintenance work for them every, uh, every so often. Amen. And I went there, and this man, when I saw him, he was, he was hopping. And he said, I just went to the doctor, and he said, he said uh, uh, a few years ago, he was diagnosed with, with uh, uh, prostate cancer, and they, 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 and they took it out, but they, didn't, they couldn't get it all out. And they told him that they couldn't find it, but it's still in his body, but they, they, can't, they can't find it. And so shortly after that, he started having a lot of arthritis pains in his hip bone and in his leg. And, 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 and he said it was, it was so severe that he had to go to the doctor again just the other day. And when I came to him, I never talked to him about me being a pastor or nothing, because when I go to my own business, I think I might, I think he, but I did ask, I said, how do you know that I'm a pastor? He said, Oh, I looked you up on the internet. <laughs> because you see, if you're working for people, they can mostly find they can pretty much find out who you are by putting your name in the internet browser. Amen. They can pretty much find out who you are. So he found out that I was a preacher. He said he visited my he said he visited my church a few times through the through Facebook. Amen. And so uh and when I went there, he went into his pocket, and this man he, it really surprised me. Matter of fact, he gave me an offering to put in the church today. He gave me an offering to put in the church today. And then, and then I said, now I understand why God had me to come over here, which I was on my way to somewhere else, to the Walmart, but he sent me to Target, amen, to check on this man, and I didn't even realize what God was doing. This man, he gave his testimony. I mean, I mean he... Uh, he, 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 he shared with me about his death of his mother. He, he said, my mother was a good Christian. And before she died, she gave, she told all of her sons that, 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 that got some of her inheritance to be a blessing to someone. To be a blessing to someone. So when I, as he was sharing me with this, and I, I, he, I, cause I was just kidding when he saw when I saw him going in his pocket. I said, "Sir, you don't have to pay me for coming to see you." I was just kidding with the man. I didn't know he was going to give me some money showing up. I didn't know he was about to give me some money showing up. But you know what? When he gave me that money, I understood in my heart why he gave me that money. It wasn't for me; it was for him. It was for him. Amen. Amen. And then after he gave me the money, I, I I knew in my heart that I was supposed to pray for him, so I prayed with him. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost on this thing. I prayed for him. Amen. And then, and then he said, now, uh, 
I got to go back to work now. So, because he was still on the clock, he can't steal the people's time because that's totally yeah. against God. Amen. Yeah. So he said, now I got to go back to work. So I said, okay, sir, I, I will talk to you again soon. Amen. And so, uh, what I'm saying is this: see, you don't know who God is going to send across your path when you're hurting. Amen. This man had no had no idea that I was going to come by there today, and I had no idea I was going to go by there today. And my purpose for going by it was to see him. And I didn't understand why. But it was God directing me to go. Yeah. Folks, I'm telling you, when God sees that your heart is ready to be healed, God will bring someone across your path that has the anointing upon their life that will be able to speak into your life. And I believe that, I'm, I'm, that God has brought me across the path of a few people today. Amen. You that are here and you that are with me by the internet. Amen. I believe that God has brought me across your path today. Amen. To tell you to stop the doubt. Amen. Stop doubting the word. Stop doubting Amen. God. But trust God. Amen. Amen. Stop doubting him. But trust him. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. 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 And so as we go to the book of Mark chapter, chapter 11 verse number 25. Are you there? Yes. Verse number 25 says. And when ye stand praying. Forgive, forgive. Mm -hmm. If you have halt, halt against a, in, against anyone, against against uh, if you have halt against your father, also which is in heaven. For, let's read it one more time. Mm -hmm. And when you stand praying, forgive. If ye have ought against against that against uh, that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses, but if ye do not forgive, neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Amen. 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 So God wants you healed, and it has a lot. For, it has a lot. To do with your walking in forgiveness. So husband, wives, if you walked around sick and you've been beating up on your wife, or your wife been beating up on your husband, and <laughs> it's time for you to repent. <laughs> repent. Amen. And walk in love. Love covers a multitude of sin. And love will stop the enemy from invading your household. Amen. Amen. Now, now that we've said that, let's go to Luke, since we're so close to it. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 4. Let's get into the message now. I got 10 more minutes. We're going to get into the message. And then we're going to pick it back up on next Tuesday night. Luke, chapter 4. Are you there? Yeah. Verse number 18. And it declares. Shh, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost on this thing. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, hearted. To preach deliverance to the captive. And recovering of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. Verse number 19. Amen. To preach the acceptable Amen. year of the Lord. Woo, glory to God. The presence of God is so strong on this thing today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Satan. I come to serve you notice today. The healer is in the house. The healer is in the house. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. Thank you, Father. And Father, I pray and I release my faith on the behalf of of every man and woman under the sound of my voice that are believing you for health and healing for their bodies. 
right now in Jesus' name. I ask you, Father God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because you promise us divine health and healing. You said you sent your word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Father, we are coming into contact with your word and your word is revealing truth to us. And you say, if you are my disciples indeed, you shall continue in my word and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Father, we believe your word. Therefore, we stand upon your promise right now for divine help and healing to be dispatched and dispersed among your people right now across this listening audience and across upon everyone's heart that is in this room today. Father, I release that anointing right now in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of sickness, disease, every demonic spirit of an, uh, that is coming against the health of your people, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I come against that, that heart disease. That, that blood disease, I rebuke it right now. That in the name of Jesus, I speak to that pancreas. I command you to function and to release that insulin and withhold the insulin which is need which is need to be held back and release that which need to be released in Jesus' name. I command that insulin that is being released directly in that body that that body would only receive what it needs to function properly in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray and I release my faith and I speak to the kidneys. I come, I speak to the kidneys. I come against those kidney stones. I come against everything that is working against the kidneys in the name of Jesus. Father, I release the, the, the divine health and healing to flow right now into the kidney in Jesus' name. Into the kidneys in Jesus' name. And now, Father, I speak to the liver that cleanses the blood. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release the anointing right now over the liver, Father, that cleanses the blood that flows throughout our bodies in Jesus' name. I rebuke that hepatitis B, that hepatitis A, that hepatitis C. I rebuke it by the authority of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Father, have your way right now in Jesus' name. I come against that that cancer, that colon cancer. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. That, that rheumatoid arthritis, go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. Your word is alive. Your word is health. Your word is healing to all our flesh. God, thank you. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for signs, wonders, and miracles accompanying your word, Lord God. Father, let all the roadblocks go right now. Father, we repent of doubt and unbelief. We renounce that spirit of fear, doubt, and unbelief in the name of Jesus. And we declare, Father, today we will hear what the Spirit of God is saying, and we will believe, we will hold fast to it, we will not let it go, God, and we shall receive our healing today. Thank you for it, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Satala Dabakai. Thank you, Lord God. Father, and I know that I'm talking and I'm praying for people that are listening to me right now all across the audience, Lord God, on this internet. Father, from different countries and different nations of the world. And Father, I come against that, uh, 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 I come against that, 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 uh, cloche te la rabake rabasai. Mondere se ke la rabakai. Malaria. I rebuke that, that malaria in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that malaria in the name of Jesus. Father, I commanded to leave that body, leave those bodies right now in Jesus' name. Oh, shatala la In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for every intercessory prayer warrior right now in the name of Jesus. I lift them up before you, Father. And God, because they are willing and obedient to pray on, on Wednesday and Thursday at 9, 12, and 3, Father, God, I release my faith for their health and for their healing. For not only them, but for their household in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for all the prayer warriors that have become a part of this prayer team. Father, I lift them up before you and I declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your will be done in their life in earth as it is already been done in heaven. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory for it, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, your word 
is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. And as we hold fast to your word, God, you will manifest your word on our behalf with signs, wonders, and miracles. Father, we thank you for it right now. We thank you for miracle healings. We thank you for miracle deliverance right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, you bore our sicknesses and you carried our diseases. And it was by your stripes, Lord God, that we are healed. We receive our healing. We declare, Father, that your word is working in us the hope of glory. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory. <coughs> glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Now, Father, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving. We enter into your courts with praise. We thank you, Father, for your healing power that's been released on our behalf. We receive it. We believe it. We receive it. And we declare that it is so right now in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, you declare it in your word. You declare it in your word that this is a benefit. This is one of our benefits as the child of God. This is one of our benefits. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Koshete la rabashata la rabaki. Mandere se ke la rabasota rabaki. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Koshete la rabaki te la baka. Psalms 103. Psalms 103 and verse number one says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. All that are within me, bless his holy name, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Oh God, Father, we do not forget your benefit, who forgiven all thy iniquity, who healed all thy diseases, who crowned thy life, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thy who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. God, your word is working in us. Glory to God. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Oh shit, let up kind. Father, I let up I say, let your healing power right now be released. Father, let the people receive. Let the people receive right now. All over the listening audience. In Jesus' name. Oh, we praise you. We praise you. We praise you for it, Father. We praise you for it, Father. We praise you. We praise you for it, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's a pastor, there's a minister, a, a man of God that's been you, that that you are, you are sick right now and you are in remission, Amen. You you've been diagnosed and you and and, and your body is 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 it's in, it's in remission right now. And I declare today in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, release your faith right now in agreement with this word. Release your faith right now in agreement with this word in the name of Jesus. By faith. I declare that you are dead, that you that you that, that you're healed. By faith, I declare that you are getting better. You're getting better. You're getting better. Amen. That disease, that germ that is afflicted your body is leaving you. You're leaving you in the name of Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I praise you for it, Father. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord God, I pray for every man of God, for every man of God that the enemy has attacked. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe, God, that this is a time, Father, that we will lift up one another and that we will pray for one another, that we will come in agreement with your word, God. We know, God, that your word will not return void, but you said you sent your word forth, Lord God, to bring forth healing and to deliver us from destruction. We believe your word, God, and we stand upon that promise today. We stand upon that promise today, and we declare, Father, that we walk in divine health and healing from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Why? Because we are children of the Most High God. We are uh, ambassadors of the kingdom of God. And God does not send out his children full of sicknesses and disease to accompany the work that he's called them to do. How do I know? Because I was sick when God called me and he healed me. And I know that God wants you healed too. Glory to God. He wants you healed too. Glory to God. Amen. So, Father, I thank you for driving out every sickness and every disease that is creeping into the heart and to the body of your people. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. There's an anointing of God's healing power right now beginning to rest in this place. There's the God's healing anointing right now is beginning to rest in this place. Oh, shete la la bakata la bakai. Oh, praise. Just worship him for a minute. Just worship him for a minute. There you go. Just worship him for a minute. Just worship him for a minute. Because that same anointing that we are experiencing right here, you're going to experience right where you are. 
You're going to experience it in your home. You're going to experience it in your car. You're going to experience it wherever you're listening to this program right, right now. You're going to experience the same anointing that we are experiencing right now. The fire of God is, oh God, <coughs> fresh fire. Fresh fire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now by faith. Receive your healing by faith right now in Jesus' name. I counsel every demonic, uh, every demonic word that the enemy will try to say, everything that the devil is trying to do, trying to stop the people from receiving. I rebuke that devil right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, I release your healing power. I release your healing power in the name of Jesus. You are, you are, God, God. God created you in His image. He created you to walk upright before Him. He created you to walk in divine health. He created you to have peace in your heart concerning whatever the thing that is concerning you. Amen. It's God's will. It's God's will for you to be healthy. It's God's will for you to be for you to be healed. It's God's will for you to walk in divine health. It's God's will for you to understand the peace of God. There's a passive all understanding that will keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to His name. Glory. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 God is moving right now. There's a, there's a Spirit of God right now that is moving across the airways of these networks in Jesus' name. There's a healing, the healing power of God is moving right now. Receive your miracle. Receive your touch right now in Jesus' name. Today is your miracle day. Today is your breakthrough day. Today is your miracle day. Glory to God. Today is your breakthrough day. Receive it, glory to God. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. No weapon, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that have risen up against you in judgment, I condemn it now. And I cast it down in Jesus' name. I've counseled every word that's been spoken over your life that was not sent by God. I canceled those assignments that the enemy has released concerning you. Amen. And I cancel every argument in the spiritual realm over your lives. Over your lives. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, Father. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you, Lord God. Oh, you're worthy. You're so worthy. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. Thank you, Lord. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 4, is that surely he bore our grief and carried our sorrows, yet we esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions, and bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Amen. So God has already did it for us. Amen. That's why we worship him right now. That's why we worship him right now. Because he's already did it. It's already done. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's already done, folks. It's not something that he's going to do. It's already done. Right now, right now, I see pain. I see pain leaving right now. I see pain leaving. Oh, I see pain leaving someone right now in the name of Jesus. God, get up. Those of you that had pain in your body, I see pain leaving right now. Get up and shake yourself. That pain is leaving. That pain is leaving right now in Jesus' name. It was in your hand? Yeah, because this, uh, when I'm going to go pray for people, for sleep, she kept out of my Amen. I'm going to pray for the sick. So I think Satan wanted to affect my hand because this is my hand. I have to use my hand to lay hands Amen, on. amen. That so that pain just left, huh? Yes, yes. Glory to God. Thank now, there's some more people that are listening by the internet that say you had pain in you, you had pain in your body. That pain was just driven out of your body by the power of the living God. Glory to God. We got one testimony in here already. And I'm telling you, there's, so, there's many of you that have testimonies right now that are, I'm telling you, God is moving right now, folks. God is moving right now. Release your faith and just worship Him. Release your faith and just worship Him. <coughs> Amen. Just worship Him right now. Your healing, your healing is manifesting right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I'm talking to right now. Oh, 
Ah, ah, my, 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 my. Somebody, you, 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 your, your, your stomach is something to do with your stomach. You very, it's just like your stomach is. You're not able to hold nothing down, and and and, and you try to figure out what's wrong with you, and, and and the doctor can't even figure out what's wrong with you. Amen. And you just thinking, you just you you about to give up. God said, "Don't give up, don't give up." Amen. Don't quit and don't give up. He said, just believe. Just believe. The Bible tells us in the book of Mark chapter 11 and verse number 22, and Jesus answered and said unto them, have faith in God. God is telling you right now, just have a little faith. Just a little faith. Amen. That's all you need. It's a little faith. Peter had a little faith and he walked on the water. Glory to God. You, all you need is a little faith and you can speak to that mountain. And say, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Yeah. Amen. And it shall be removed. It shall be removed. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. The Father, I just thank you, Lord God, for everyone that was under the sound, of, everyone that's under the sound of my voice right now. And Father, the anointed that have been released today. I thank you, Father, that you're going to confirm your word with signs, wonders, and miracles. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Signs, wonders, and miracles. I declare it. I decree it. I prophesy it now in Jesus' name. Signs, wonders, and miracles shall accompany your word today in Jesus' name. And don't forget to join us Tuesday night. We're going to be going back along this same line. We're going to be praying again for the sick. Amen. Amen. Releasing that anointing once again. This coming, this coming Tuesday night. Amen. Right now, I want to encourage you that this weekend is the last three days of the month. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the last three days of this month. Now, those of you that are on our intercessory prayer team, you know that we fast and pray on those last three days of each month. Amen. We've been... We got, we're doing it every month for the rest of this year. Amen. We're doing that. Why? Because God is wanting to do something in the, in the earth, and God needs a people that is praying and seeking His faith. This is a time when we come together corporately and pray. Amen. At 9, 12, and 3, we're going to be praying those three, pray, those three hours every day on that, on that the last three days of the month. Amen. We're going to be praying at 9 in the morning, 12 in the noon, and 3 in the evening. On those last three days of the month. Now, let me just let you know this also. This is not a 24-hour fast. But though you can do a 24-hour day fast if you want to for three days. But this is only a 12-hour day fast right, right. for three days. Right. Amen. That's uh, the, on the 27th, 28th, and 20, uh, the, uh, 28th, 29th, and the 30th, or whatever the last three days of the month is. Those are the days we're talking about. Amen. Don't forget. Don't forget. We're going to be praying and fasting the last three days of each month, Amen. of this month. And we're going to be praying at 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, 3 in the evening. And we want you all to be a, be a part of that. Amen? Amen. Right. We want you to come in agreement. We want you to be walking wow. in, a, in, in unity with this. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because you see, there's going to be a release mm -hmm. of the anointing that's going to really penetrate the kingdom of darkness during this time. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, glory Hallelujah. to God. Glory, Thank you. glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. See, see, you see, you're not on a losing team. You're winners. You're winners. Amen. You are the children of the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got a lot to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. Glory to his name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Well, folks, I just want to encourage you. Today, your healing is already manifested. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. We're going to go ahead and take up our offering. Those of you that, that are with us over the internet, you want to you want to uh, support us in this offering. Amen. You're welcome to do so. You're welcome to do so. You can give if you want to to uh, by.
by going to my, my website, Larry Bergen Ministries, and you can uh, give there at Larry Bergen Ministries, that P.O. Box. That P.O. Box, 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. Amen. That's Blackburg Ministries, P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. Or you may give at the, your ATM card, your credit card online at uh, LabbergerMinistries.com. You may plant your seed there. Amen. If the Lord touch you, I encourage you to plant a seed. Amen. To plant a seed so that you can receive the full benefit of the anointing that rests upon this message and upon this ministry. Amen. This is one of the main, this is one of the areas that, I, that God used me strong in, what we, are, what, what we are dealing with now, divine health and healing. Amen. This is one of the areas that God used me in pretty strong. And I want you to receive all that God has for you. So be a, be a good soldier and plant a seed, amen, into this rich ground and let God Germinate it and multiply it back into your life. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give them to your bosom. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So now, God, are y'all done with? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Just, just hold right there. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this gift. <clears throat> we thank you for this tithe, this offering. We bless it. We sanctify it right now. And I speak life over the finances of the people. I call finances into their life, Father, from different sources. Sources that they're not even expecting it to come from. Because, God, you have ordained it to come into their life because they... Have, they have supported this ministry faithfully with their tithes and with their offerings, God. And God, you want to show yourself strong on behalf of them who are walking up right before you in the area of their finances. So, Father, I release that blessing upon them right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, you cause that money to come back into their life. Let them not even miss it, not one day, Lord God. But let it come back quickly in Jesus' name. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall men give back into their bosom. I thank you and I praise you for it in advance. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory to God. Go ahead, just say it there, please. Amen. amen. You that are with us by the internet, amen. You want to plant a seed? Don't forget, just go to my website, LarryBergenMinistries.com. And there, use your ATM card, your credit card, and plant your seed using your ATM card or your credit card. God wants to do something significant in your life. Amen. And it's going to take you understanding the power of seed time and harvest. You need to get this because if you don't get this, no matter what you do, it's not going to work. But when you do it God's way, when you do it God's way, the devil can't stop it from working. He can't stop it from working. Amen. So just do it God's way and watch the seed. The harvest is coming back yeah. into your life. More than you gave. More than you gave. It may, it's, it may leave your present, but it won't leave your future. Amen. Yeah. It's, it's still in your life somewhere coming back into your life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He said, cast your bread upon the water, and after many days, it'll return on every wave. On every wave. I'm getting it coming back on every wave right now. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> every wave. Glory to God. It's good. Amen. Amen. So if you, for you that have never been born again, you that are not saved, I want to, I'm going to end it on this note. Amen. You don't have to uh, jump. I know all of you here are already saved, but I'm talking to you right now about those by the internet. Say this with me right now. If you want to be born again, you want to be saved. Say this with me. It's a simple prayer. Just say it with me. Say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent of my sin. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I receive you right now as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. A simple prayer like that, God will answer that prayer. 
Amen. And he has answered that prayer for those of you that said that prayer with me. Glory to God. If you have a special prayer request right now, I will pray for you right now. Special prayer request. Amen. Amen. Special prayer request. Amen. Amen. All glory to God. Let me, let me, let me, hold up a minute. Let me, let me anoint these cloths. Let me anoint these cloths. Amen. Amen. Let me, because, yeah, bring them all, baby. Bring them all. I'm going to anoint these cloths. Just get out of the way. Move out. Thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many of you know that God is going to touch you when you, when you receive these cloths? Amen. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. I feel the anointing already flowing. The anointing is already flowing, folks. It's already flowing. Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19, verse 11 and 12. Father, I release that anointing right now. I release that anointing right now. Acts chapter 19, verse 11 and 12. In Jesus' name. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Acts chapter 19. That was in my spirit. Let's go there real quick. Like. Here we go. Acts chapter 19. Here we go. Here we go. Acts chapter 19, verse 11 and 12. And God wrought special miracles by the, hand, by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs, aprons, and the disease departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. Glory to God. Father, I release that anointing right now. In Jesus' name, upon these cloths, that tangible anointing, let it transfer right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. I, re I, re I thank you that it's done. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke the germs that are trying to attach itself to my daughter. Amen. I declare that she's walking in divine health and healing. Oh, she ma li ge she te la ba kai. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. God, I give you glory. I give you praise for it right now. In the name of Jesus, I pronounce she's walking in divine health. Every organ of her body functioning properly. God, because you created her in your image and after your likeness. And her body will war off these germs. In Jesus' name, I thank you for it. Amen and amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you once again. Oh, glory to God. Surely, you bore our grief and you carried our sorrows. And we esteem you, squeakest men of God, and afflicted. So, Father, let your healing power be extended right now. Let your healing power be extended right now. There it is. Receive it. There it is. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, say, Kate, tell Allah about say. Oh, shut up, Bakai. Oh, sick, Come on a little bit closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. This hand was the one that when I would lay hands on the people to pray, pray for. It was, you know, Saint Luke. That's the hand God 18. just healed one of them? I use that scripture, 418, everywhere I go to pray over me. Amen. But Satan, no, he wanted to affect my hand, I guess, so I wouldn't want to have to use it, but I can use it. I might got it. 
And I thank God I healed it. Today. Amen, amen, amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, I release the anointing, Father, that lift burdens and destroy yokes. I speak to every joint, every disc, every vertebrae, every organ, every nerve right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I release your healing power right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, I thank you. Oh, Oh, say Taylor about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. There it is. 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 Oh, Satalabaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus. All pain go. All pain go. All pain go. In Jesus' name. Father, let your healing rest right now upon her. In her. Working in her. Working in her and through her. Your divine purpose. Your divine plan. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else? Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I thank you right now, Father. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my shake, my rosso to And I say unto you, my daughter, release your faith right now. And know that my word would not return void. Trust me with all thine heart and have confidence in what I have spoken. For my word is life indeed. My word is meat indeed. Oh, so take it, take it in, take it in, and receive it as nourishment for your health. Nourishment for your health. Who? Shaka. Yeshete. Yeshete. Nandele shete labakai. Father, I speak to every organ. I speak to every organ right now. I said, let the organ function properly in Jesus' name. Let your healing power right now flow into every organ that they function properly right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I praise you. And I give you glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, there's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's working a healing in you. A healing in you. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, receive that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. You that are with us by the internet right now, everyone here has been praying for, now I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, because they've been faithfully waiting, Father, for this moment, I lift them up before you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And God, I ask in you, Father, for miracles of healing. And deliverance right now in Jesus' name. And God, I thank you for it. I praise you for it. Now receive it. There it is. It's yours in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, God bless you all. Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Pastor Larry of New Life in Christ Jesus Church. We are located right here in Sacramento, California on Fulton Avenue. Amen. At 2929 Fulton Avenue. Come and be with us. And be blessed on next Tuesday night. We are speaking once again on divine health and healing. God wants to touch you now, today. God bless you. And don't forget to join us next Sunday, the same time. At, uh, not the same time, but at 1230. Amen. Join us ne next Sunday at 1230 right here. God bless you. Until then, bye-bye. I, I will go back and, and, uh, and I will listen to your comments yeah, later on. Okay? God bless you. We love you. Bye. Okay. My God, we had um, I'm not sure does this work or still be on this is 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 the red dot still in there?
Then it's still on recording. I'll just cut it off. Just, just take. Mm -hmm. Not turn it off. Yeah, but you didn't. Uh, it's not turning off. It's. I don't think it's even taped. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll find out when we get home. <laughs>